Introduction to Modifiers. At the top of the screen are the modifier tools. Press, pull, tweak, chamfer, fillet, and shell. 123D Design offers dynamic, non-destructive editing. When you create a feature or add a hole, you can easily go back and change the position and size later. That is, until you start using modifiers. Notice that I can drill down and edit this hole feature in this shape. If I chamfer this edge with a modifier, I can no longer edit the feature directly. As you're working on a design, focus on creating your major bodies and features first. Once you're confident of your basic shape, start adding modifiers. Once you start using modifier tools, you'll have fewer options for editing your design. Press pull. We already know how to easily modify shapes by using the grips and manipulator. So why would you use the press pull tool? Since modifiers like press pull are destructive editing tools, it's best to use the grips and manipulator whenever possible to change the size and shapes of your objects. But there are a couple situations where you need to use press pull instead. When you can't use grips, press pull comes to the rescue. Usually this happens when you've already used a modifier on your design, like I have in this chamfered hole. I can use press pull to change the offset of any of the faces in my design. I can make this hole wider using the grip to choose how far I want it to move or deeper by entering an exact value in the text box. Another way press pull can be used is if you have multiple faces that you want to move together. I've added a smart polygon to the space. With the press pull tool, I can select multiple faces and offset them by the same value. Again, I can use the grip to choose the offset or enter a value directly into the text box. Tweak. The tweak tool is a dynamic way to create interesting shapes. Choose the tool, then specify an edge. The teal, cyan, and yellow handles constrain the movement to axes aligned to the shape's geometry, while the white handle allows you to tweak the edge freely. You can also tweak faces in the same way. Chamfer and fillet. The chamfer tool adds a faceted edge to your model. Select one or more edges and either drag the handle or enter a value. The fillet tool works in a similar way, but rounds the edges instead. Shell. The shell tool changes any solid shape to a shape with a defined wall thickness. Select the shell tool and then one or more faces you'd like to remove. Drag the handles to a desired thickness or enter a value directly.